Hello everybody. Uh, within today's video, what we're going to be talking about is going to be basically variables, uh, variables and data types more specifically. And we're also going to be talking about concatenation, set text blocks, set property blocks, and random blocks. I mean, yeah, random blocks, basically. Uh, let's get started with variables. So we have two different types of variables, okay? So we have something like, for example, I create a, num, a variable called num, declare it, and assign it to a value of two, right? Then I can also create another variable, and I just can call it str, and which is going to be a string, okay? So I can put something like hello inside of there with my quotation marks in there. And I can check what these variables are, okay? So for example, I can print out the variable names, making sure that you erase the quotation marks. And we put something like num plus str. Let's see what happens. Run my program and it says to hello. Cool. So it's printing the variable called num and it's printing the variable called str. And we get something together to uh, hello. Once you add a, a, when you concatenate, this is what is known as concatenation. When you're getting your variables, whether there are strings or a mix of strings and a number, um, you're basically going to get something like this. And if you notice the quotation marks here at the end and at the beginning, uh, this has turned it now successfully into a string. Cool? All right. Next, I wanted to talk about how like um, you can update these variables. Okay, so for example, let's say that variable num, uh, we wanted to update it to something else within our program. Okay, we will get this one called assign a variable block. And now we can do something like num, and then num, or we can give it a value of four. So now when we print it, this should say for hello, and it's saying that, right? And then we can also update it a different way. So we can get the previous value of num, which is two, and give it a plus four. So this should give us, I think, a value of six, and here we should see six hello. There you go. Cool. And we can, if you basically, if you do num plus num, this no longer becomes the symbol of concatenation. This is now just a single operation in which it's adding six plus six, which is the value of num, and it's going to give us 12. Remember that the, that the, for example, you see how I created this new line five? And I'm updating num. If I put a, give it a value of two, now in the console I should be able to see um, num plus num. It will be equal to to four. The reason why this happens is because we have sequential programming. So we start at the top, okay, and we all every single line we leave from left to right, and we go line by line by line by line. And the last value that we where we updated num was actually here on line five. And that's why we get this, okay? There are a lot of different things that we can do with the console.log. But concatenation, in case you needed a little bit more help, we can go over here and do this. So, for example, the value that num is holding is, and then I put my little, my little colon, do a little space in between, and then I put plus. Well, I don't have to do that at this moment, but we can do something. Right here, we can call str plus, and let's do num. So let's see how this runs. You run the program, and the value that num is holding currently is two, and that is correct. Okay, what if I were to do, let's go ahead and try this, num plus num, and let's see how this program runs. And right now here, it's giving me 22. The reason why it's giving me 22 is because you see right here, str plus num is getting this to first. So it's turning these into basically, well, it's printing out the string. And then with this, it's turning it into a string. And then this is also will be addition. I think this one's just number, okay? Because right here, we have these two parentheses. But what if I were to organize it a different way? So for example, let's do it again. Let's do str plus, and then I put parentheses num plus num and this should give me a different output okay see now how the parentheses are inside of here so let's go ahead and test that now i'm predicting that this is going to be four now okay and there you have it it is giving me a value of four and this is how more or less concatenation works 
now let's start talking about the set blocks, set text blocks. So with the set text, let's see, set text block. Let's get the set text block. And I'm going to put concatenation in here so you know what the, the, this is concatenation. So in the set text block, I can check for the, the ID of the screen, and it's called screen one. I can set the text of, let's say, we can do something as simple as, what is the value of num? And let's see how this gets printed out. And when I run my program, it gives me a tool right here in this corner, okay? It gives me a tool right there in that corner. And I can make the text larger when I go into design, but I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. Or actually, let me go into design mode and let me go get a text area so this looks a little bit more clearer. And we can actually manipulate the size of our text. So let me just make it larger until 20. Let's run our program again, but first, I'm going to change the ID for the text area number one. There we have it. We run the code, and you see now I have a two there, but I think that's still fairly small. All right, now that I made it larger, you see how we have all this stuff in here, and I wanted to put a little bit more, something more complex. You see what we put right here, the value that num is holding is for? Instead of uh, printing this in our console, we can actually display this over here. So I'm going to put it inside of here. Get rid of my console.log because it's not really doing anything at this point. We run the program and the value that num is holding is for, see? So this is what a set text block does. It sets the text, essentially. That's its function. And you can do concatenation uh, in order to be able to do all of these things. So now, let's see what the set property block is. In the set property block, you can do a lot, a myriad of things with this block. So with the set property block, so I can do something like, for example, you see the text area? If I wanted to change anything within there, I can change it. So I can change the text, the width, the height, the, the coordinate position, the text color, background color. And let's go do something simple in changing the text color. Let's just go ahead and change it to red. We run the program and you see, there you have it. It's changing the, the color of this, okay? And then now, lastly, let's go ahead with the random color, uh, the random button that is found under the math section. So we can use this random number. Okay, so we can do something like, for example, let's say, uh, let's make a different concatenation. So let's do something like, um, so we can do something like random number. And let me go ahead and go to text mode. So a random number from 1 through 10 plus, then I want to get a random number from 1 through 10 as well. Let me go ahead and insert it in there. Equals, okay. actually, you're supposed to do this, and then equals. And frankly, you know what? I'm seeing a mistake already. So instead of doing all of this, because we can, but it's not going to compute for us, let's go ahead and update the variable, this one over here, num, and it'll work much better this way. So let's create a variable, declare a variable called uh, num2, num2, and we're going to assign it a random number. So random number to this one and from one through 10. And let me go ahead and erase all of this that I did here. And then now I can do something like num plus, and then we do plus, make sure you make good use of your spaces, num two, and then we do equals, and then we grab parentheses, num plus num two. Have it and now we close it. We click away from it so, like, it closes everything in there. We run the program, and you see 9 plus 3 equals 12, 1 plus 9 equals 10, 3 plus 9 equals 12, and it's always random numbers, you see, and they're correct. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, hopefully, this video was helpful. Thank you all so much.